Today we're speaking with AACR President-Elect Dr. Frank McCormick. He's the director of the University of California, San Francisco, Helen Diller Family Comprehensive Cancer Center. He holds the E. Dixon Highs Distinguished Professorship in Oncology and the David A. Wood Distinguished Professorship of Tumor Biology and Cancer Research at UCSF. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Congratulations <laughs> on becoming President-Elect. What was it like when you found out you won? Well, I was surprised for a start, <laughs> uh, and delighted, and um, it was a real honor to be elected by the membership to be uh, president, so I was, I was very happy about it, and also um, delighted by the opportunity to work with the AACR again. <laughs> what are some of your goals for your presidency in 2012 and 2013? Well, one of my main goals is to find new ways of improving communication between the AACR membership, of which I believe there are 33,000 internationally. And uh, this presents a huge opportunity for finding new ways of, of working together using new electronic media and uh, social networking uh, systems. So I'm, I'm very interested in, in trying to pursue that. Wonderful. Could you expound a little bit on how the AACR impacts the field of cancer research? Well, many ways. Um, perhaps the most obvious is this annual meeting where people come uh, from all over the world. Sometimes it's the only meeting they come to all year and they get to come to one place and meet their colleagues and hear all the latest uh, innovations in cancer research. There are also specialized meetings which are very popular, uh, focusing on uh, specific topics in cancer which have been very effective. The journals, obviously, uh, especially with the publication of a new cancer discovery journal, it's a big deal. Uh, ACR also funds research directly and uh, with partners such as Stand Up to Cancer and PanCan. Uh, so ACR affects the cancer world in many different ways and uh, has a huge impact worldwide. What are the challenges as you see it facing cancer research today? Well, the biggest challenge is uh, cancer itself and the uh, increasing awareness of how complex and heterogeneous cancer is. And this really uh, poses enormous uh, uh, challenges towards uh, trying to find uh, effective therapies. So it really is a, the disease itself is, is the sort of biggest challenge. But come, with that comes uh, the uh, trying to integrate all the enormous body of knowledge that is being uh, gathered about cancer and how to put that together into a, into a sort of coherent framework to think about new ways of therapy. And what do you see as the future of cancer research? Well, as uh, again, we've, uh, we've seen how the more we understand about cancer, the more complicated it seems to get. Uh, so um, uh, we need to find new ways of integrating information and uh, and defining new concepts for treatment. I think we need radical new ways of treating cancer as well as uh, preventing cancer. So I think we, uh, we need to look sort of think out of the box and really uh, challenge our membership uh, to think of uh, really new and creative ways of attacking the disease. Dr. McCormick, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. It's great to see you again.